All right, cool. Uh, this is something a little bit different. Usually I make anime reviews, or that's what I used to do. I don't know if I want to continue doing that. I will update you on that at some point. Um, this is my manga collection as of March 2020, close to the end of March. Uh, I've still got some things coming, except which is why like, there's gaps in the shell. Because uh, I'm just getting back into manga again. Um, so yeah, I'll explain it as I go. But, yeah, welcome. Uh, this is Major Aoi. Uh, yes, that's how you say the channel name. Not Majui, or however many people I've heard it pronounced on servers and stuff. Um, but yeah, this is sort of my attacker collection. At the top here, we've got pile of metal alchemist uh, one through 23 which i need to get rid of because i've been collecting i started collecting the hardcovers last year i'm going to try and get back into that at some point but yeah i need to get rid of that you've got an original i think this was the first time it was released on dvd but this is akira i have since replaced this copy but this was a christmas present so i don't want to get rid of it uh the first two volumes of helsing the complete series of spiral bonds of reasoning if you haven't checked that out it's decent, it's not complete because it was adapted halfway through the manga being completed, uh, which I only have one volume of. I've got Silly Experiments Lane 1 through 3, which is not complete. I've got two Seraph of the End figures that are incredibly dusty, you can probably see that, um, which is you and. I should know this because she's my channel icon. Shinoa, Shinoa Hiragi. Uh, we got the uh, Harfen from Valkyrie Chronicles 4 which I got in that Valkyrie Chronicles 4 set uh, we've also got a Gundam uh, RX-78-2 uh, we've got the this isn't just the manga collection this is also anime and a Graffalo, nice uh, and an Overwatch poster uh, got my Nintendo Switch collection here Astral Chain, pretty good Crash Bandicoot, Fire Emblem yeah uh, I'm not one of those collectors that gets everything. I've got Animal Crossing coming today, uh, because it's, as I'm recording this, it's the release date. Then you've got my PS4 title, absolutely wonderful game, Near Automata. Uh, absolutely love it. I've got Steins Gate Elite and Steins Gate Zero, which I have now probably end up replacing at some point, because they announced a re-release with the anime cutscenes from Steins Gate Zero. Uh, Gundam vs. Can't get into not the biggest fan of fighting games, and I'm never. I'm probably going to play this one of these days. It's Dragon Quest XI, but I would probably find try and find a different soundtrack because I don't like the guy that made the soundtrack. Don't remember his name. Uh, then you've got my GameCube. Uh, not all of it's there. Um, Twilight Princess is on the floor, <laughs> uh, but those are my GameCube titles and a Zelda. Uh, Ocarina of Time, we've got some Lego Overwatch figures, we've got Reinhardt Diva, me with Frank Turner, one of my favourite musicians, and then you've got some sort of collections, and that's my phone case, but that's not what you came to see, whoopsie. Right, okay, so, we've got complete Eureka 7, uh, I have not replaced these with blu rays yet, I will do eventually, um, just can't be bothered at the moment. Um, we've got my team romantic comedy Snafu, which is the American release. And I can't watch that at the moment. I need to set up my laptop so I can watch that. But even then, I don't think I can because the sound drive is all fucked. Uh, we've got a couple of Wii U titles. Token Mirage Seconds, Sharp FE, and Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. This is now useless. I swear, like a month after I bought it, they announced a remake for Switch. Great. And I can't play these at the moment because the Wii U now belongs to my little brothers. Uh, I have a Your Name wristband which came with the Collector's Edition from Anime Limited. Um, Pokemon, Hooper, Clash of Ages, this was cheap so I thought I'd buy it. Then I realised it was on Netflix, so at the time anyway. Uh, my shelf is incredibly dusty. Uh, the incomplete original release of Gundam Seed, volumes 1 to 10, which is all 50 episodes, will be replacing this once they uh, undoubtedly release the HD remaster in the UK. Uh, you've got some of my 3DS titles, um, three Fire Emblems, Devil's Fiber 2 Record Breaker which was a bitch to get when I bought it, all about well, three, three or four of the Zelda games, and then again Devil's Survivor 2 which I got that before it was released in the UK and that is Gundam 00. 
uh, the DS game. There was a DS game and a PS2 game. And that really does it for this top bit. Yeah, I've also got Captain Marvel, Pacific Rim and Lord of the Rings. Now we get into the nitty gritty stuff and I am currently stood on my PS4 controller. Uh, this is also worth mentioning. This is a Gundam D Origin, if anyone remembers that. Chiro G. <laughs> oh, I made myself cringe. But this is signed by the author and I guess the producer of the first o of the OVA series. So yeah, uh, moving on. On to the actual manager. We have A Girl in a Shore by Inio Asano. That is volumes 1 and 2 complete into one collection. The only way it was ever released over here. Uh, actually really good. Um, manga. Uh, really, really, really nice. Talks about puberty. Uh, things that someone might experience while they're going through puberty. Really, really good. I honestly recommend it. As long as you don't get triggered by certain things. Or you don't like sex. A Silent Voice. Quite possibly a series that is near and dear to my heart. Um, purely because it's about a deaf girl and I have a hearing impairment. You can probably tell slightly by how, how I'm pronouncing things. Absolutely wonderful manga if you haven't picked it up already. Should. If you haven't watched the film already, you should. Brilliant. Complete. One through seven. Uh, next up we have Ancient Marcus Bride. Sort of dropped... I sort of... um bought it because I heard about all the hype and stuff and then yeah I sort of just stopped that was it I don't know maybe one of these days I'll actually continue reading it and see where it goes from there but I don't know uh, next up Akamega Kill just the first volume the anime was shit maybe one of these days I'll make a video on it but it was awful um, by the way, anything you want me to review, just let me know in the comments and I will do it. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to do a manga review. I suck at manga reviews. I suck at anime reviews. Uh, Assassination Classroom Volume 1. Picked up the first volume. It's good. It's good for what it is. I just... I don't know. This, A lot of this stuff, like Kamigaki or Assassination Classroom, a lot of the stuff I picked up while I was in college and I didn't really have that much money coming into my account as much as I do now. Uh, and even then, I still don't pick up that much manga. I don't think I bought a volume. Like I, I have, don't think I've had a big order come in since 2017. So yeah. Uh, next up, we've got the first two volumes of Astra: Lost in Space. Excuse my door. My window's open. Astra: Lost in Space. I picked these two up before the anime was even announced. I've yet to watch the anime because the Funimation now app on PS4 is fucking dog shite. Yes, I could watch it on my PC, but I don't want to at the moment. <sighs> Next up, the, quite possibly the biggest ongoing series on my shelf, and that's because I just love it, despite the fact I've not actually read this. Uh, I am also uh, mainly an anime watcher, so I'm catching up on this as it comes out in the anime. Uh, Attack on Titan 1 through 17, which takes us up to halfway through Season 3. Uh, you can see there, that's how I've got the last few, which also comes with a little night novel. Uh, just short stories about the world, I guess. Haven't actually read it. Haven't actually read it <laughs> since I bought it. Uh, but it's decent enough as it is. Uh, Attack on Titan, absolutely amazing series. The thing that brought anime into the mainstream, in my eyes. Uh, I, I started getting into anime around about 2010, 2011. And when this started airing, I heard kids at school talking about it. And I was the uncle one for watching anime and reading manga. So yeah, this is the thing, uh, I completely agree with what Gigat says in his video of the year that anime grew up. Um, despite what the title says, I thought it was a bit weird, but then I actually watched it and he's talking about how it changed from being this niche thing to becoming part of the mainstream with stuff like Attack on Titan, My Hero Academia, uh, Black Clover to an extent, etc, 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 Naruto, One Piece, what have you, Bleach, still making it's way around I guess. Uh, first three volumes of Bachman. Gonna Not gonna lie, I didn't really get into it. I'm not the biggest fan of Sugumi Oba and Takeshi Obada. Uh, if I'm correct though, Takeshi Obada is a brilliant artist. I couldn't remember which one it was, but he's a brilliant artist. Uh, I read the first five volumes of Hikaru no Go, which I actually really enjoyed when I was at college. But yeah. Uh, first four volumes of Battle Royale. I remember buying these, <laughs> uh, I got these for £15 a pop, 
That's not a pop. I've got these for £15 for all four. Uh, this is not complete. It will never be complete because it's Tokyo Pop. Need I say more? Uh, we have the first 12 volumes of Bleach. Which two of these are in the two in the three in ones, which are like really crappy. That is utterly fucked. I think that got destroyed when I was moving house. Yeah, that's destroyed. Um, Bleach. Um, an alright Shonen series. Uh, I hold the opinion of it was alright up until after the Soul Society art. Didn't really read much more from there. I know how it ends. Uh, I'm excited about the news that a possible thousand year blood war, whatever it's called, adaptation is coming, which means more people are going to get back into Bleach, which is nice. Uh, hopefully we'll have like a resurgence like we did with Gundam. Still doesn't mean it's good though. Uh, next up we have Black Cat, 1 through 20, complete, my absolute pride and joy, because this volume and this volume were an absolute bitch to get, and even then, and so with volume 16, and even then volume 16 has a bit of the top cut off, don't know why, <laughs> have no idea, but a lot of these were ex-library copies, uh, I think volume 7 is also in quite poor quality, is it volume 7? A lot of these pages are yellowed, because they came from a library, um, some of these I did manage to get for a decent price new, some of them not so. Um, Kentaro Yabuki, Kentaro Yabuki, uh, he was the artist for Two Love Rue, and he is doing the Darling Franks manga at the moment. Uh, or I don't know if it's actually complete, it should be, because the anime completed like two years ago. But yeah, it's, oh my god, I'm shaking like mad. This is why I need a tripod again. Um... This is good, actually really good. Typical shonen, very typical shonen, typical battle shonen. Has a lot of the tropes, but it's decent as it is, and I actually really love it. Quite possibly my favourite series. And next up, we have the first volume of Black Clover. Sort of just stopped buying it and watched the anime. I actually enjoy it, unironically. Um, it has its moments, it has its flaws, and yes, I just love it. <laughs> uh, Decent read, decent anime, just decent all around. Next up we have the first two volumes of Blood Blockade Battlefront. Uh, pretty awesome actually. Uh, one of the very few Dark Horses manga I own. Um, because Dark Horse is so expensive. I used to have Bizarre Volume 1 but then that one, that one got wet. And then I was told it was going to be re-bought for me. And it never did. Uh, Bloody Monday, volumes 1 and 2. Not that interesting. Um, it's about a hacker and some terrorists. Pretty cool concept. Didn't really enjoy the execution in the first two volumes, quite clearly. Uh, Blue Exorcist, points 1 to 7. This takes you up to almost the end of the Kyoto arc. It's alright. A bit like Black Cat. It's shonen trash. <laughs> if that makes sense. It's just basic shonen. Next up, we have the first volume of Batum. Absolutely loved the anime when it first aired. Need to revisit it at some point, but for now, the single volume will stay on my shelf. Same goes for Bungo Stray Dogs, absolutely love the anime. Haven't bothered to pick up the rest of the manga. Yeah. Cardfight Vanguard, 1 through 2. Uh, I got into Vanguard for a while, and then I just stopped playing it. And that's why they're here. Because I got into Vanguard. D Grey Man, 1 through 8, got into D Grey Man. And then I stopped. Because I didn't have a job for a while, that's why. Yeah, I didn't have a job for the longest time, so I couldn't buy D. Grey Man. Decent. Decent shown. Again, shown in trash. Um, moving on to this shelf. Uh, we have Dead Man Wonderland. <laughs> Dead Man Wonderland, 1 through 13, complete. The best way to experience Dead Man Wonderland, in my opinion. Anime wasn't that good. Because it took out a lot of characters from the manga. It's a really poor adaption. Adaptation of the manga, the anime was. Um, it, the ending sort of drops the ball a bit. Wasn't that great, but at least we got a conclusion. And at least it was like after the first five volumes, unlike the uh, bloody. Oh, dust allergies. Unlike the bloody um, Tokyo Pop releases. Decent, really decent. These are like um, their signature line quality kind of release, except they're the normal height of a normal volume. Death Note, 1 through 9. Honestly, I'll just stop here, if you know what I'm talking about. 
Um, Demon Slayer 1 through 6, I've got volume 7 on the way. I'm taking my time with this series uh, because I don't want to catch up too quickly, honestly. Uh, the anime was actually pretty good. Pretty good. Which is funny when you consider the fact I hated it at first. Um, my issue with Demon Slayer was it did too much talking while showing. There's a lot of things where it's like, you didn't need to say that. You could have just shown us that and we would have understood that we're not complete utter idiots. But other than that, it's a great it's a great story. And the fact of the matter is, it's one of the best selling mangas on Amazon at the moment. Uh, Devil Survivor, Volume 1. Meh. Uh, not a great adaptation of the game, which I have digital on 3 uh, Dragon Ball, Volume 1. Everyone knows Dragon Ball. I just can't get into it for some reason. No idea why. Drifters, Volume 1. Absolutely love the anime. Thought I'd check out the manga. Same person who did Helsing, the other, one of the other Dark Horse mangas I own. Decent. It's alright. Uh, Durabara, Volume 1. Uh, stick to the light novels. Eden Zero, done by the same person who made Fairy Tale Hero Mishima. Basically, it's Fairy Tale. But more futuristic. I think at one point, even the character. She literally looks like Lucy. He looks like a black haired Nazi. And that's just happy. Yeah. I read it when it first started coming out. Uh, on the scans. Well, I say scans, digital releases. Um. On, uh, I think it was on Crunchyroll, I can't remember where I read it. It was alright, I found it enjoyable. Not the best. Fafner, don't read it. Um, Fairy Tale, 1 through 12. I sort of just became an anime only watcher. This took us up to the end of the prison arc, whatever it's called. Just before they go to the alternate reality. Uh, Flowers of Evil 1 and 2 stopped collecting it because they announced the complete editions. And then I never bothered to buy the complete editions. These are the rest of these single volumes are really out of print. Decent series. Haven't checked out the anime. Heard it's a bit of a mess with the Uncanny Valley effect with the animation. Meh. Uh, Food Wars Shokugeki no Soma Volume One through Four, which is all I'm going to be buying of it because again, anime only watcher. It's all right. Food porn, basically. Uh, someone who used who trained in the culinary arts, I guess you could say, who went to college for catering. It's Good for some recipes, actually. That's about it. And maybe some yep. material. I don't know. Uh, we have Volume 1 of Gintama. Picked us up and then found out that it, they stopped releasing it. So I dropped it very quickly. Uh, absolute brilliant series, though. Uh, if you haven't checked out the anime already, you should, really should. I just keep realising. I keep dipping every so often. Hi Q 1 through 5. I've not bought a single volume since I first started collecting it. And I was insanely hyped for this, this series. Uh, but I unfortunately lost my job which meant I didn't have any money for a while uh, which is the case for a lot of these series so yeah Haikyuu 135 decent the hero is overpowered but overly cautious yep. this shit is funny man <laughs> if you've seen Konosuba you will love the hero is overpowered but overly cautious uh, if you haven't heard about it already it's about a guy who has insane stats and the goddess summons him doesn't read a blurb and Turns out he is very overcautious. He will use a like high end level spell against a bloody slime, which is like the most basic enemy in a fantasy world. Higurashi When They Cry, uh, abducted by Demon's Art Volume 1, this first volume of the series. So expensive at the time. Uh, I was mainly getting uh, Viz Media stuff, as you could tell, because Viz Media is like £7 over here. That was like 12 that's a bit of an overstatement, but I think it's about ten pounds. Anyway, oh, I've got to move again. If future me has any common sense, he'd be editing this out right now. Right, moving on. We have Come You Can't Communicate, Volume One. Absolutely hilarious series. La 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 la. Brilliant first volume. Really enjoyed it. Just haven't been able to pick up more. Same goes for Kuroko Basketball. It's because I watched the seventy-five episode of anime that I sort of just grew tired of that. Late Back Camp, my favourite series ever at the moment. The anime was absolutely beautiful for easing my um I guess my mental health, if you will, after coming home from work and I work in quite a stressful environment. Especially with the know. going around. But we shan't talk about that. Moving on. Uh, this is a gift my brother just gave to me before I went home before I got the train home one day. Uh Lone Wolf on Cup Volume One 
uh, I might just have to look at the omnibus because these are stupidly expensive, the singles. I read up to about here. So I haven't read very much of it because I sort of stopped reading it at the train station because I realised there were sex scenes in it. Not something you want to be reading at a train station. Uh, first volume of Puella Pu 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 Magi Madoka Magica. Hey, it's alright. Uh, doesn't hold up to the anime. Although I don't really hold the anime in high regard myself. Uh, I thought it was just a massive cock tease. But I need to give it a rewatch to have a full opinion of it, really. Uh, first two volumes of Gundam 00 Season 1. Uh, season 3, uh, Volume 3 was insane to find, so I never bought it. And then the first volume of Season 2. This is what got me into Gundam. I just randomly bought the volume out of Waterstones one day, and there we were. Anyway, moving on. Uh, first 10 volumes of My Hero Academia. Haven't bought a single volume out since Volume 10 was released. Let me try and say that again. Haven't bought a single volume since Volume 10 released. So, yeah, again. I See, I caught up to the manga in the um, digital versions. Just haven't really bothered to buy the physicals. Uh, same, Naruto is one of those series where it just sort of exists. Just for the pur pur purpose of having it. Uh, Nisikoi Falls Love, volumes 1 through 4. Decent. Decent harem trash, if we want to call it that. Which it is. It's alright. My younger self thought it was the shit. It really isn't. But it's decent. Uh, Noragami 1 through 7. Uh, this takes you up to the end of Adagoto. Um Absolutely brilliant series, actually. I really love it. It's just a shame it doesn't have another season. Uh, no Game No Life, Volume 1. It's alright. Uh, it's not the last time you'll see this author, see the author on my shelf. Oh. Um, because he did another series that I was actually pretty hyped for, and then it dropped the ball massively. Well, the anime did. Uh, we have One Punch Man, Volumes 1 through 4. Um, I can't seem to get into one's storytelling. I thought the first season of the anime was pretty good, and I thought the manga was pretty good. I just can't seem to get into it. And the same goes for Mob Psycho 100. I can't get into it, really. Uh, Orange, the complete collections, 1 and 2. I don't have Future, or whatever it's called, like the sequel. I read this on a train on the way home from uh, Birmingham when I went out to see my uncle once. And I cried. And the elderly gentleman just looked at me like, you alright? And handed me a tissue, which was really lovely, actually. I said, yeah, sorry, this manga just made me cry. Um, it deals with quite heavy subject. It's about uh, a guy that... Well, I don't know if I want to say... He, this guy here, he dies. I'm not going to say how, but it's very, very heavy. Very, very... And it hits you like a fucking train when it happens. Orange, absolutely wonderful. Really good story. I think you should pick it up if you haven't already. Uh, next up we have Parasite 1 through 2. Um, I absolutely love Parasite the Maxim. And I want to collect more of this, but... I just haven't got around to it. Pokemon Adventures Volume 1, I and when I blah, 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 when I was much younger and didn't know very much about this kind of stuff, I read all of the scandalations up to Ruby and Sapphire arc. Actually I think I read I think I read up to Diamond and Pearl arc actually. And that's where I stopped. I also have um Diamond and Pearl Adventures somewhere, volumes two and four, which were just like meh. I have Love Hina somewhere, but I lost it and I don't really care about it. Psychopaths, Inspector Shinya Kogami. Uh, no point in learning this now. Because I just found out they're not going to release any more. Um, I think like the first four volumes are out and that's it. Uh, which is a shame because it expands on uh, Shinya Kogami. Um, or Kogami, sorry. Uh, from Psychopaths. Uh, it expands on his backstory before he became an enforcer. I absolutely love Psychopaths. I love season three. I think some of the issues that plagued the first season and second season... Uh, in terms of animation wide happened again because there were certain eps like some of the fight scenes in season 3 just looked really weird anyway moving on Siren volume 1 a uh, bit like mm, I want to say it's a bit like Bleach I don't know don't know how to describe it like Isekai Bleach is the word that comes to my mind I don't know I, I find that really good and it's a shame it hasn't had an anime adaptation 
adaption. What the fuck am I talking about? Adaptation. 15 volumes in total complete. I just picked up the first volume one day off, off uh, recommendation. And I just haven't really picked up more of it. And I really should. Because it was apparently really, really decent. Churn and trash, again. Uh, real account. Volumes 1 and 2. Uh, I want to say it's basically Battle Royale Twitter. Or Dangan Romper Twitter, actually. Yeah. Twitter with Dangan Romper. Yeah, that makes more sense. Uh, it's decent. It's pretty cool. Uh, volume 2 has quite a good revelation. Uh, very, very bloody from what I remember. Rave Master Volume 1. Again, another Hero Mishima work. I quite like the art style of Hero Mishima. Shame this is never going to be completed because it's Tokyo Bop and their volumes now go for insanely high prices. Uh, Rosario Vampire, Volumes 1 through 10, Season 1 complete, and then Volumes 1 to 14, Season 2 complete, and then a little insert thing from the box set, which I have currently on the floor of my bed, but bedroom, but there are clothes on the floor of my bedroom as well, because I'm sorting out my washing. Anyway, Say I Love You, Volumes 1 to, uh, Say I Love You, Volumes 1 and 2, uh, what's the word, misogynistic. <laughs> Very, very misogynistic main male character. Um, however, what you got to remember is 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 authored apparently by Kanai Hazuki, which is a female name. Uh, it might just be a pen name for a guy, but I find this dude very misogynistic. Some of the stuff that you would he does in the show, if you were to do it in real life, probably get you a swift kick in the bollocks. From what I've seen in real life. Not that I've experienced, because I'm not that kind of dude. I'm not that kind of dude that will come up and chat up to a girl, because I if I did, I'd probably just get all embarrassed. Like that dude from, um... The, uh... Mango Offer... Series. Which is a comedy where he's completely... Yeah, I can't remember the name of it. Moving on. Uh, Seraph of the End, Boys 1 through 12. At one point, this was up to date. And then I stopped being able to spend money on manga and started buying video games and a PC, which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, Sarah for the End, Volumes 1 through 12. Uh, I absolutely love Sarah for the End. Um, anime was subpar. I liked the watercolours in the anime. I'll get onto that in a minute though. But the manga, actually pretty decent. I like where it was going. I need to catch up on the chapters online at some point. I might do that today. We're currently on self-isolation. So I've got a lot of time. Um, Seven Deadly Sins, Volumes 1 and 2. Uh, I loved the anime. I watched the first season, back when it first aired. And I absolutely loved it, which caused me to pick up the first two volumes. Again, it's a classic case of some of the other series on my shelf. I, don't ha I didn't have enough money for the longest time. I didn't have a job for quite a while. I didn't have a job for about half a year. So that's when about the time I bought these two volumes. But yeah... Um, well, the second volume anyway. I bought the first volume back when it first released, I think. Anyway. Smoking Parade, volumes 1 and 2. Same people that did Dead Man Wonderland. Uh, really, really decent first two volumes. Didn't bother to pick up the next few, which I think there's like at least up to five. Maybe more. I don't remember when I bought this. Anyway, moving on. Uh, Soul Eater, 1 through 5. All I bothered to pick up of it before I stopped having any money to spend. Uh, Spiral Volume 1, uh, Bonds of Reasoning, same with that anime, I only bought the first volume, but I read the scanlation back when I didn't know any better. Uh, we've got the first four volumes of Zelda, Twilight Princess, I've got volume 5 and 6 on the way, which is nice, I'm finally kind of catch up on that. Uh, Twilight Princess is one of my favourite Zelda games of all time, next to Breath of the Wild, um, absolutely wonderful. Next up we have The Rising of the Shield Hero, volumes 1 through 11, and I've got 12 on the way, and that's up to date, I don't think another one's been released until June. But yeah, I absolutely love Rising of the Shield Hero, if you can't tell. I bought all of these in one setting, but I had to wait on Volume 2 for the longest time. I think it was Volume 2, or 3 actually, because I couldn't, because it was out of print in the UK. Uh, one Piece Books doesn't really do a very good job of releasing their, man their manga and light novels in the UK, because uh, they're very much an American com company, I think, or Canadian. I think they're Canadian. Anyway, Vampire Knight, Volume 1, don't bother, it's trash. Uh, World Trigger, Volume 1 through 5, actually really decent series, uh, one of the best power, uh, scaling, I guess you could say, in manga, uh, next to Hunter x Hunter, and, um, Jojo, which, 
to an extent, yes. Uh, but yeah, pretty good. Uh, Year of the Dawn, uh, Volume 1 and 2, off the recommendation of my cousin. Uh, she really loved the series, so I checked it out as well. Yeah, it's alright. Not for me. But it's pretty good. Uh, Your Name, Volumes 1 through 3, complete. Um, absolutely love the movie. Manga's actually decent as well. Nothing more to say on that. Sorry for the lack of lighting. This is like the corner, as we'll call it. This is like my hardcover shelf, with exception to one. Uh, we got Gundam The Origin Volume 1. Didn't really pick up any more of this at the time because it was like 24 bucks. 24 bucks. 24 pounds a pop, which is quite expensive when you were, uh, when I was only on about 150 pounds a week, maybe less. So yeah. Uh, Vinland Saga 1 through 3. 4. 1 through 4. Sorry. I don't know where this takes me up to in terms of the anime. But I am current. I bought these this one before the anime was even announced off a recommendation of my friend. And then I bought these after the anime was announced. So yeah. Pretty insane series. I've started rereading this again. As you can see by my little lovely bookmark. Absolutely lovely releases. Jojo Part 1. Phantom Blood sucks. <coughs> Moving on. Uh, no, I'll talk more about this. <sighs> see, I think it's got interesting characters. I think it's a decent enough series. But when compared to the rest of the Jojo series, if this is all you've seen of Jojo, I do not blame you for turning it off. Um, this is Phantom Blood, isn't it? Or am I? Yeah, this is Phantom Blood because the next one's Battle Tendency, which is really good. I really want to pick that up, but again, I don't earn enough to do that. Uh, next up, we've got Levius. Uh, I think this is the most interesting art style I have ever seen. I will put it here so you can see. Just ignore the mess down there. Um, it's very much digital. Like digital art, uh, there's like weird autofocus kind of thing. I think it's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome thing. Think yes. Pretty awesome release. Really nice release actually. Really nice hardback, which is why it's on the hardback shelf. Uh, really awesome. Really, really cool art style. Just need to continue reading it. I've got a lot to read. I've got all of Vinland Saga, JoJo again. Well, actually, I read that one when it, I got this one when it first came out, and then I bought these two like months after. Uh, years after, actually. So I need to read these. I need to read Levius. Right, sorry about the awkward cut there. Uh, where was I? I was on Full Metal Alchemist, wasn't I? Um, it's been about a good 30 minutes while I let my phone recharge. I was talking about Full Metal Alchemist, Full Metal Editions. Uh, I have one through five. Uh, these are absolutely wonderful hardcovers, and it really does a series some justice. Uh, I am very far behind on it. I think it's on volume eight now. I think they were doing them on about a three monthly basis. Uh, but yeah, Wolf Children, really, really good. Um, really nice adaptation of the, uh, of the, let's, uh, let's put a torch on, shall we? This is going to mess up the flight, the lighting a bit, but oh well. A uh, really good adaptation of the movie. Absolutely love it. Uh, next up we have Battle Royale, Angel's Border. Um, this tells the story of the girls in the lighthouse before it, before they go to the island and take part in the battle royale so if you've seen the battle royale movie or you've read the manga you know exactly what i'm talking about or read the novel this is the backstory to the um lighthouse girls next up we've got uh, neon genesis points one through 14 complete in the uh, lovely you know <laughs> in a lovely viz big i guess you could they're not really viz bigs are they but in the lovely viz um Three in ones and then two in one for the end, which is lovely and skinny. Uh, I haven't read this. <laughs> I've read the first volume when I first got it, and I still need to read the second, third, fourth, and fifth bit. And I think I may have messed up one of the uh, covers, but it might actually have sorted itself. Jesus Christ. That's the problem with having such heavy books on my end. Um, all you need is Kill, which is the. Uh, manga adaptation of the same, the novel of the same name, which also inspired Edge of Tomorrow, the Tom Cruise movie, um, which I actually quite like, but I think it could have been done so much better had it been done by a. I'd quite like to see a Japanese adaptation of this, because um, then it would actually tell the proper story. Uh, the <laughs> Edge of Tomorrow, if you haven't seen it, basically tells the story of a PR dude, whereas 
or no, no, I don't know if it's PR or someone who is in the back line. Um, a major, basically, that's who Tom Cruise plays. Um, this is more about a private. Right, I completely lost my train of thought. I can't remember what I was talking about. I was talking about all you need is kill. I do think it'd be quite awesome if it was. Okay. Uh, Steam message. Shut up. Um. But yeah, this is. Uh, this could be made into an awesome anime. Uh, I've handled by the right studio, but I don't think it's ever going to be adapted. Also, this is really old. I've had this for years, and it's yellowed to hell. Oishimbo vegetables, uh, something my brother bought me. One of my brothers bought me. Uh, this is a cooking anime. Uh, and the way that Fizz has released it is very disjointed. Don't understand why they've done it. They've grouped it into like little groups and put the chapters that involve these certain foods into a volume. Uh, so there's vegetables, there's meat, there's chicken, etc, 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 etc. And I don't understand why they've done it like that. Uh, the Legend of Zelda Legendary Editions, complete 1 through 5, which contain Ocarina of Time all the way up to 4 swords. Uh, this was the last uh, Akira, that was the last Akira Himakawa Zelda work before Twilight Princess. Uh, absolutely wonderful Legendary Editions, and it's really nice to have these in like decent sized books. And I think we get colour pages as well. If I can remember correctly, if I can do this one handed. And it's their updated art style as well, which you'll see more of in, say, well, some of it's updated, like Link here is more in the style of their Twilight Princess manga, which is pretty, pretty sweet. Just saw my GameCube there. Ultraman Volume 1, I bought this when it first came out, I haven't really picked up anymore. Golden Kamui, I have Volume uh, 2 through 4 coming, uh, like I do with Demon Slayer having and um, Rising Shield Hero and Twilight Princess. Absolutely awesome seinen. Uh Speaking of awesome seinen, buy Mega. Really, one for three, really good. Not complete. I only have three volumes left to go. Another classic case of with the other series, I ran out of money. Round in the Grey World. Absolutely really cool concept. Really, really good. I can't remember what it's about though. <laughs> but I really like the first volume. That's all I remember. Children of the Whales. Didn't really meet my expectations, but I need to reread it really. Uh, Mobile Suit Gundam Thunderbolt 1 through 4, uh, which is all, again, ran out of money. Pretty decent. Funny story about Tokyo Ghoul. I read all the scanlations uh, when they were coming out, which is why I also have volumes 1 through 3 of 3. These, are, these three are fairly recent additions to my collection. Um, but yeah, volumes 1 through 7 of the original, and then volumes 1 through 3 of 3. And that is all I have read of Tokyo Ghoul. Next up we have Monster, uh, Naoki Urasawa's Monster Volume 1, uh, again, ran out of money, same case with a lot of stuff. Tales of Berseria, Volume 1, several pacing issues um, with this manga, uh, it's alright, art style is pretty cool, captures the style, I love the Tales of series so I'm willing to support it in whatever way I can. To Your Eternities by the same author and well, the same mangaka as uh, the Silent Voice, really cool first volume, really want to collect some more, but uh, obviously priorities. Happiness volumes 1 through, <laughs> volumes one through 2, a much better Tokyo Ghoul, in my opinion. Uh, really good first two volumes, honestly recommend you pick it up. Same Done by the same person who did Flowers of Evil, which is why I picked it up. Uh, Clockwork Planet, this is by the same author as No Game No Life. Um, and I think it's authored by his wife? I think the art's by his wife. Can't remember. I might be completely wrong. What's this? Hmm. I can't remember. Uh, the so this is the series I was talking about. Uh, I think they're called Zebec. They did the they did this story injustice. The anime was absolutely appalling. I would never wish that on anyone. And the same goes for uh, Full Metal Panic Volume. Uh, Invisible Victory. It's so disappointing. Their animation quality is, is shocking. Absolutely shocking. What you can remember about, while this isn't Full Metal Panic uh, Invisible Victory, what you can remember about that is it was pushed back several times. There is a moth on my shelf. Uh, it was pushed back several times, and yeah, um, collect, get the manga, all the night novels, whatever. Experience the story because it's actually pretty decent. 
Uh, it's about, well, a planet that becomes clockwork and the main character meets this girl, who I can't remember the life mean the name of, uh, who is a robot powered by, well, clockwork. Planetes by Makoto Yukimura, same person, same dude who did, uh, who is doing Vinland Saga. Really, really good story about uh, space janitors, really, really nice. Unofficial Hatsune Mix, um, this is just a bunch of, like, short stories involving Hatsune Miku. Uh, I Want to Eat Your Pancreas, um, one of my favourite films and currently my favourite uh, novel that I'm reading. Speaking of novels, as we go down to the final manga shelf, um, we have the first four books of the Haruhi Suzumiya series, Melancholy, The Sigh, The Boredom and The Disappearance, which is... Um, Melancholy Haruhi Suzumiya is my first anime series. Uh, if you've seen my video on it, you'll know that by now. Uh, we have a book called Manga, which features... Um, I can't say a name for the life of me. Uh, which is what's really nice about this. They didn't go for any characters like One Piece or anything. They went for Golden Kamui. Uh, this was the expedition in uh, at the Great British Museum. The manga expedition. I went and saw this. I'll put some pictures. Or at least link my Instagram. I don't know. But this is really, really cool to see. And this is a really nice book. Talking about the history of manga. Uh, Full Metal Panic 134. Uh, not going to pick up any more of this. Because the company that released it, which was ADV, is defunct. So there's no point trying to collect the rest of this. Uh, Barakamon 1. Um, again, same case as the rest. I don't. Ha I didn't have enough money at the time that I was collecting this. Same goes with Kake, Kake Gururi. I have actually never read this. I probably should. Um, Toho game. Toyo game. Uh, a bit like Doubt. Not that good though. Uh, then we've got Doubt, which is one of my favourite horror mangas. Judge, which wasn't that good. And we have the Unspeakable series, which is a shame because it's a really good series. Veroni Kenshin, shame about the author. If you don't know, he's a paedophile. Right, now, moving on to the anime. We have 5 Mets Enemies Per Second, which is the original DVD release from Manga. I know there's a Blu-ray, can't be bothered to pick it up at the moment. Uh, my first Makoto Shinkai film. A Silent Voice, lovely um, chipboard case kind of thing from uh, Anime Limited. Really, really good release, really good film. Akira, I know there's a Blu-ray out now, but when I bought this I didn't have a Blu-ray player. Really good film, but we all know that by now. Amagi Brilliant Park, an absolutely brilliant Kyoto animation comedy that I feel like gets looked over a lot. Uh, if you haven't watched it, please check it out. Uh, Black Cat, the complete DVD collection, quite a recent addition to my collection. I have not watched this yet, um, however from the first episode alone. I'm not sure what to think of it at the moment. Uh, Black Clover, seasons one, uh, part one and two, which takes me up to episode 20 on Blu-ray. Uh, this one also has the DVDs, which is why it's so thick. Like I said, I really like Black Clover. Uh, Bleach, season one, two, four, or series one to four, sorry. Complete uh, up to season four, which is the start of the... Uh, an arc which is filler uh, I don't have season 5 Devil is a part timer absolutely brilliant comedy which I don't think anyone really like some of the newbies don't really know about which is a shame it's really good Dragon Ball Super Broly I actually really like this film I think it's just good popcorn material Eureka 7 the movie the first movie I guess um, it's good night sleep tight young lovers yeah it's alright it's a good alternate telling of the Eureka 7 series. A bit like High Evolution, which I quite enjoyed. A lot of people didn't, but I quite enjoyed High Evolution. I think, yes, I think the original story doesn't need to be improved upon. But this is pretty cool, and it also uh, involves the um, the events that led up to stuff like the Nervash and stuff being discovered. We have the first three Evangelion rebuild films, which I'm so excited for. Number four, Fate Zero. absolutely love Fate. Uh, well, Fate Zero anyway, because it's uh, the main Fate series I've seen and I actually quite enjoyed it. From Up on Poppy Hill, Studio Ghibli. Uh, this is all alphabetized by the way. Well, most of it anyway. From Up on Poppy Hill, really good uh, movie that I feel like. Another one of those Studio Ghibli films that get overlooked a lot. Uh, Food Wars, Shokugeki no Soma, Season 1. No point in me buying a Blu-ray because I didn't want a big box. I just bought the uh, DVD. Gintama the movie. Absolutely brilliant remake of the uh, Bakamatsu arc, I think it's called. Uh, I Want to Eat Your Pancreas, my favourite anime film currently. 
Uh, we have Ghost in the Shell, Standalone Complex, uh, both boxes, and then Solid State Society. Uh, we have Pokemon Pearl, uh, Gundam, Reconquer Eastern G. Absolutely lovely looking series. I hope the film fix the pacing issues that are prevalent in this series because it's a shame that the story was so shoddy and I'm hoping the film's fixed that. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, Gurren Lagan complete uh, with the films and everything from uh, Anime Limited. Kizumonogatari, the complete movie series. I absolutely loved Kizumonogatari, Kizumonogatari the book which is why I picked up this, which is really good, really good movies. Uh, you don't have to know anything about the Monogatari series at all. This is where it all technically starts. Um, Lou Over the Wall. I watched this with my little brothers when I had to look after them before a night shift. I was half asleep, so I couldn't... I didn't really pay attention to this, but I felt it's decent. Uh, my brothers really enjoyed it as well. Uh, Macquia, where the... Uh, when the Promised Flower Blooms, really, really lovely film. I want to make a review on this, but um, I think it's oversaturated kind of review. Metropolis, really long film. Uh, Simon Tezuka, remake of the original American film, I want to say it is. Uh, Kino's Journey, the original series, volumes 1 through 4. The Melancholy of Harry Susan Mia, uh, up to Disappearance, which is complete as of at the moment. This was a bitch to get. These were fine to get. Well, actually, no, originally this was a bitch to get. Uh, because this is all out of print now, as far as I'm aware. I don't think Manga Entertainment is doing it anymore. Mirai, uh, one of my favourite Mamoru Hosoda films. It's the I the only Mamoru Hosoda film I don't own is The Boy and the Beast. I own the rest. Uh, my Some of my favourite releases. Let me just get the flashback on. Some of my favourite release. Uh, Mobile Suit Gundam 00 on Blu-ray. I have both seasons. And a lovely uh, notebook, which I'm going to put in uh, an error that Anime Limited did with their release, um, where basically they showed Gundam dub the Double O Gundam instead of the Exio Gundam, which I found quite funny. And then we also have Mobile Suit Gundam um, narrative, which cost me £83 <laughs> to get imported back when Anime Limited announced that. Uh, this has the English dub as well. It's alright, I don't think it. I think it could have been a free episode series or something like a short OVA or something not and it would be much better however what it is is decent enough uh, My Neighbor Totoro uh, classic same goes for Norsica Valley of the Wind one of my favorite Studio Ghibli films uh, Noragami uh, just the first season Patema Inverted uh, actually a decent film and not enough people have seen it my favorite movie of all time let alone Studio Ghibli, Princess Mononoke. I don't know why I love it so much, but I just do. And then we have Ponyo. Moving on. Right, before I continue, uh, Gruffalo, which is a present for my friend, well, for her baby. Uh, Kizumonogatari, this is the first one that Vertical released. Absolutely brilliant, brilliant story where it basically all starts. Technically, it's the prequel. Uh, Technically, it's the fourth book in the series, but this was the first book released. So, yeah. And then we got Rising of the Shield Hero, 1 through 3, and then Back on Monogatari Complete in the light novel format. Um, here we have the Ghost in the Shell uh, Steel book. Don't buy this, it's a waste. Because they did a, they did the crop dirty <laughs> really, really badly. Uh, Puella Magi Madoka Magica in a lovely slipcase. Glad to have this back. Uh, it was at my friend's house for a good time. Shakakan no Shana, season one, complete up to volume six. Not watched this yet. <laughs> Seraph of the End. You can buy the Blu rays now for dirt cheap. These are the DVDs. They're like £10 a pop. I think they have surplus. Uh, don't. Don't watch this. Uh, read the manga, honestly. It's one of those things where it is much. Much better. Sorry, just moving my back and stuff out of the way. Uh, next up, we have Steins Gate Complete on Blu ray. Summer Wars and the Girl Who Let Through Time. That is a lovely. No, it's a filter thing. Uh, Summer Wars and Girl Who Let Through Time. Um, 
two Mamma Hosedo films in one. I sold my DVDs of these, and then I just ended up buying this again when I saw it was in this case, and I was like, great, need to buy that. Uh, saw that online, complete season one, and then first of season two, and then uh, Ordinal Scale. I don't think Saw That Online is as bad as everyone says. It is not as good as some people say, but it's not as bad as everyone says. Um, Tales for Mercy. Eh. 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 The Wind Rises always holds a special place in my heart because it was the first time I ever saw an anime film in cinema. Wolf Children. Absolute wonderful film. Wolf's Rain. Uh, one of the first complete anime series I ever owned. Thanks to my uncle for getting it for me for my birthday back in 2012-2011. I think it's the exact same team, with exception to Shinichiro Watanabe, that were behind um, Cowboy Bebop, like the same animators and stuff, with exception to Sh Shinichiro Watanabe. Um, really, really good. Really good series. Not as good as everyone used to say it is, but it is decent. Uh, Zammed Lost Memories, this is like a hidden gem. Not many people have seen this. This is another Bones anime, which is really, really good. I feel like more people should see this. And then we got my pride and joy, if you will. My Your Name. My Your Name collection. Collection. Uh, collector's edition. Which cost a lovely pretty penny. I think it was about 60 quid. Uh, I have copy. Because this was limited copies. I have. It's like limited to 2,000 copies. I have 1,709 out of 2,000. I wish I've got 69. But yeah, absolutely wonderful little, little limited edition, um, which is where that bracelet that you saw on top of my shelf came from. Alright, so over here I have my PS4 mm -hmm. and my Switch with a uh, R3 Gundam and a Switch controller and a PS4 controller. I mainly use this to watch on control and stuff, but occasionally I'll play like Neo Automata, Persona 5. Etc. Etc. Uh, I'm not going to be able to get Persona 5 Royal at the moment. And then we have my PC, which has a laid-back camp wallpaper, um, some random cheap keyboard, a diva mouse and mouse pad. I absolutely love diva. And then my actual PC, which runs a AMD Ryzen Ryzen 5 3600 which was a bitch to get the BIOS updated and a GTX 1050, nothing special on 16 gigs of RAM, uh, one terabyte of hard drive space and 120 gigs of SSD space which is my boot drive basically, my overwatch thing so yeah, that really does it um, thank you very much for watching this video uh, I will see you guys in the future in whatever I make see you later